Facebook. Good morning, my friends. Welcome to another edition of Art Talk here on Facebook Live. Uh, we got two cameras rolling, looking pretty good, uh, in pretty good shape. Uh, we're doing this uh, every Monday now. Good morning, Jerry. Tim McDougall, good morning. What's up, buddy? Welcome to today's Art Talk, uh, the numberless editions. We're just going to kind of keep rolling on these things. We got a good subject for you guys today. Good thoughts lead to good results. Uh, we're going to get into the, the details of why. Uh, Dennis Burnham, what's up? Steve Gelman, gentlemen, good to see you. Um, I hope you guys are getting out and about. Not necessarily today. It's kind of rainy. Uh, I don't know if it's rainy where you guys are, but it's definitely rainy here. Hanging out and uh, looking out at the... Uh, the driplets, and uh, uh, we kind of need it. You know, it's not it's not a bad thing to get a little bit of water uh, every now and then. Uh, Don Hampton, thanks for joining us on today's Art Talk. Uh, we do this live on Facebook every Monday. We were doing it every day up until 200 and something episodes, but uh, it began to be too much with all the other stuff that's going on. Uh, as you guys know, here at Fireball Publishing, we have new books coming. We have uh, blog episodes that just went up uh, today, and... Well, a lot of other things, the Murphy Auto Museum. Uh, everything is kind of getting ready to um, uh, to kind of restart. Everything from wheels and waves to muscles and mojo. Uh, a lot of things uh, we're just kind of prepping uh, to you know get the ball rolling on stuff. So got a few things to go over before we get into today's subject. Raining here in the OC. Oh, nice, Chris. Uh, very cool. Yeah, uh, we can use it. The plants are green. The best thing to do after it rains is go for a hike. Uh, that's the best thing to do because it's fresh, it smells amazing, uh, it, it brings a tremendous amount of peace and joy to the psyche. Uh, kind of gives you some uh, some ground to stand on. Right, Tina? You know what I'm talking about. So after it rains, uh, go for a walk, go for a hike, uh, get outside into nature, um, and uh, you'll be amazed at the healing qualities of all this stuff. Yes, thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Uh, my name is Fireball, and I am host of uh, Art Talk here. We've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, our show is specifically designed to help you guys uh, expand your uh, your creative experience, your experience as a human being on this planet uh, without lights uh, shining too much in the in the eyes. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit bright there. That's my that's a little bit better. Uh, you know, to to try to give you guys some tips and tricks and tools to make your life more creatively fun and interesting, uh, possibly to do that for a living, whether you want to take your your hobbies and turn them into uh, from a side hustle into a regular hustle, which uh, uh, if you listen to Gary Vaynerchuk in New York, uh, you'll know that that's, he's committed to doing that kind of stuff. I am too. And uh, trying to give you guys uh, the things that might help in some way. Uh, Ricky Marshall, what's up? Jack Weaver, thanks for joining us. This is Art Talk, a uh, book of the day. If you if you if you're unfamiliar, if if you're the first time watcher here on Art Talk, which many most of you guys aren't, but you've been watching for a, for a bit of time, uh, we always feature a new uh, or a coloring book. Uh, we do have the Camaro coloring book that's coming, but today's book is Tiki, and I I'm just like in love with this book because uh, I you know I love Tiki culture. Our house is uh, is Hawaiian themed in many ways. Uh, when we travel, uh, we go to uh, a lot of Polynesia, a lot of tropical stuff. Uh, but uh, it's not just a regular tiki book. It's a tiki car book. Yep. So it's got uh, it's got the hot rods. It's got all the culture, and uh, which is pretty fun. A uh, great thing to color. You know, from the from the cover. These are all the all the books that we have. But on the cover, lots of colors. So um, uh, the thing about coloring and the reason that coloring has been a stable for the last 50, 60 years or more is that it puts you in the present moment, which is where creativity really abounds. It's what I want you guys to cultivate as much as you possibly can. Uh, and that's what Art Talk is about. That's what uh, we try to help you guys. Uh, Jeff Deal, uh, any, of you guys, any of you guys that are working on creative projects, whether you're building a car at home, you know, where you're you're taking the time that uh, that is necessary, or not necessary, but the, the time that you're being given by not working because of what's going on uh, with the state of the world right now. You don't have to um, sit on your hands and hope for the best and be in fear. You can actually be creative and be very powerful and ensure that when things turn back on, which they're going to so soon, very shortly, uh, the beaches are already open, the trails are already open, 
uh, when all these things start to open up, you'll really be very powerful uh, creatively. So, and you'll be able to get a lot of stuff done. Um, uh, you know, it goes back to something that Walt Disney said. Uh, I believe that uh, somebody just posted today. Uh, actually, Tim, I think it was Jen that posted today something about uh, uh, Walt Disney saying uh, the secret to success is uh, basically get off your ass and get busy and do some stuff. You know, I'm not sure if he exactly said that, but pretty close. Uh, Mike Schaefer's, what's up? Thanks for joining us. Uh, we do have uh, uh, the uh, vlog number 985 just went up where Kathy and I took a hike on the Backbone Trail. Uh, I know uh, Steve Gelman does that a lot. Uh, an amazing experience. Uh, so many different things to experience when you go on a hike like that. Everything from the wildlife to the uh, the scenery, obviously, the, the vistas, uh, the plant life, uh, so much uh, to be able to breathe. Uh, so you got to really get outside. And so I, I implore you guys to be able to do that. We do have the Camaro Coloring Book. Uh, you guys are going to be the first ones to see what's inside the Camaro Coloring Book. I'm going to show you a bunch of sketches right now. Uh, this is the book that's coming June 1st. Uh, some of the sketches that are going to be in this. No one else gets to see this, you know, so it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a heavily modified uh, 84 Camaro. Uh, this is a, the San Antonio Police. Yep, some pretty cool stuff that we're doing. Obviously, this is the cover. This is the bully. And uh, I forget what year this is, but you guys will probably know that for sure. 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, somewhere on there. Uh, this is a 70. Yep, this is basically my brother's car. That's the car that he... Uh, he had when uh, he was in high school. Uh, another another version of that car. Yep. So some fun stuff. Uh, there's a couple of more. I think I'll show you the thug. This is the thug. Yep. So some fun stuff. Uh, you know, obviously, we don't do regular coloring books. And uh, uh, we do stuff that's uh, heavily modified. Uh, a lot of fun for kids, I think. And the whole point to to spawn creativity. Uh, yeah, 69, thank you, Dennis. Um, you know, to anybody can draw regular cars. Not, well, not anybody, but I, I think that people that, uh, that create standard coloring books, they create images. Uh, like a lot of the car companies are creating coloring books. Ford just came out with a Mustang coloring book. It's nice, but they're just like regular Mustangs, and, you know, and, and that's, that's nice if you want to just color a, a regular Mustang, but they're not necessarily fun. I think they're missing the point that that these are for kids. They're supposed to be fun for kids, right? And, and 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 that's our goal, is to create something that is not only fun for kids, but fun for you guys and the kids' side of you guys to be able to uh, to enjoy. So we have our new Camaro book coming, uh, uh, coming out um, June 1st. And following up with that, we're going to be doing a hot rod book. Very excited about that one. That's going to be killer. And I'm going to be asking you guys your favorite hot rods. And we're going to be putting a lot of those things in. Um, and we also got a new car at the Murphy Museum. Before we get started on our today's subject, good thoughts lead to good results. Um, uh, we're trying to live our life this way. And as an example of, of living our life this way, a lot of good things happen. As, as an example, a car was donated to the museum, a Lancia Familia. If you're familiar with a Familia, then uh, I'll look that car online and you'll see that it's quite an extraordinarily beautiful car. David just picked it up at Santa Barbara delivered it to the museum, and I'm going to be going up there probably this week to give it a spin, give it a drive, and do a vlog about it, a vlog episode, uh, so we'll learn all about that car. That's going to be fun. Let's get into today's art talk. Good thoughts lead to good results. Um, obviously, this is a statement that, um, well, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. You know, if you have good thoughts, it leads to good results, and I think most people inherently understand this and value this uh, the thing is that we don't necessarily always follow this because there are triggers that happen in the world. Uh, we watch some news. We listen to a person. Uh, we listen to our, our mother-in-law. We listen to our parents. Uh, we get inundated with um, a variety of things, and it send, uh, sends us off the tracks. And the, the key to success in any realm, I don't care what it is, is your ability to focus, your ability to stay on point, people. Now, the thing about the, the power of criticism is it does the same thing that good thoughts does, just in the opposite direction. And I see a lot of this. I've actually had to remove myself uh, this last week from several Facebook pages, uh, Facebook groups, because they're off track. Uh, they're um, 
uh, even in their rules, they say no bullying, no hate speech, no criticism, and, and they're just full of it. They're just full of it. So, I'm wondering if I'm a hotter than hell here today, Greg Williams. Uh, Greg, where are you? If, if you? if it's so hot, you know, it's definitely not hot here. It's raining here. Well, let us know where you are that's so hot. We'll all come over there and have a party. <laughs> um, so, you know, criticism is a subtle, a subtle thing. And I want you guys to think about that today is that um, I can't tell you not to criticize. Uh, I think that that inherently we all know that it's not a good thing to criticize. Yet, uh, uh, all of the movies in Hollywood are based on revenge scenarios. Somebody did something nasty to me, so I'm going to get him back. Uh, there's always a bad guy. And that bad guy, that nemesis, uh, in the spiritual sense, is negative thoughts. And uh, uh, the Bible refers to it as evil, the devil, all these kinds of things. But these are just words. There's no real devil like, you know, a guy with the horns and all that kind of stuff from from uh, whatever that Ridley Scott movie was, Legend. Uh, you know, we anthropomorphize these things so the so that we can understand them better. But the, the ultimate negativity and the ultimate uh, devil or evil in this world is negative thoughts. And negative thoughts unfortunately, really only affect the people that are giving them. Now, uh, there might be people out there, bad people, that go out and, and shoot people and do bad things, and that certainly certainly happens. Uh, and there's certainly, uh, you know, bad things do happen to good people. Uh, but uh, even if you're a good person, uh, you can still have negative thoughts. You can still have thoughts of fear and anxiety, and you're still a good person, but you're going to attract a lot of negativity into your life by, by cultivating those negative thoughts. So it's important that we don't add to it, that you already got negative thoughts that you're trying to overcome uh, and that you're challenged with. Um, try to hold yourself back this week by not getting on, on Facebook or, or Instagram or Twitter and leaving comments that are critical. Um, even if someone criticizes you, uh, the, the goal that we spiral up uh, spiritually is to resist the temptation to seek revenge. Uh, resist the temptation to get somebody back when they did something bad to you. Uh, that's what we tend to do, and and uh, it gets us into trouble. Um, uh, what's important is that we're all, you know, when, when you talk about um, you make your own bed and you got to sit in it, the, the, the metaphor is sound when you understand that everything that we, we, we think, everything that we say, everything that we do um, is a direct result of our thoughts, and what comes back to us, uh, what we experience. It's very easy to, um, to reveal someone's psychology just by listening to them, just by listening to the words that they use uh, when they talk to you. It's very revealing. And it's important that with the power to be able to see that, when you, you can, I can very easily have a conversation with someone and see where they're, uh, they're manifesting uh, positive or negative based on the thoughts uh, that they're using. So uh, uh, in, in doing that, um, uh, the thoughts that you use are a telltale sign of what it is that you're, you're thinking. Uh, good morning, Loretta from Solvang. Very nice. Is it raining in Solvang? Or is it just raining pastries? Not a bad thing. We should all go to Solvang. Uh, Nettie, good morning. Thanks for joining us on today's Art Talk. Uh, uh, what's up? MC Cam Valley. Good to see you, James Beecham. Uh, late again. Oh, for shame. That's right, James. No worry. Um, nobody gets the stick in our talk. Remember in, in high school? I don't know if you guys got that, but stick on the hand. You put hands on the on the table and it's whack. Remember that? I know a lot of people that that happened to. Uh, I just got yelled at a lot. I got yelled at. I sat in the back and drew the whole time. Uh, good morning, Eddie Castro. Good to see you. What's up, Eddie? Coolest. <laughs> good to see you. It rained last night. Beautiful sun now, says Loretta. Very cool. Very cool. So we're talking about good thoughts leads to good results. We all want good results. But in order to get good results, you have to, you have to focus. you got to focus and you got to be diligent about the thoughts that you use and the words that you use and the actions that you take that result from those thoughts and those words. And if things are not happening the way that you want them to happen, um, then, then it's a telltale sign that your thoughts are not where they need to be. Now, this is not about blame, not about feeling bad. We don't want to do anything that makes people feel worse. 
You don't want to kick people when they're down. Uh, you don't want to uh, kick yourself when you're down if you do something wrong. This is about learning, guys. This is about, about us getting out there and being our best and manifesting the life that we want uh, so that we can enjoy ourselves, so we can experience the highest level of vibrations, which is you know peace, love, and joy. Those are the highest levels, which is why Kathy and I hike all the time. It's why we, you know, uh, our moniker says, uh, "Do what you love, love what you do." You know, the, the 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 message there is is very clear when you understand that in order to have a fulfilling life, you have to have fulfilling thoughts that attract a fulfilling life. You can't. Um, attract health if you're constantly th talking about disease and viruses and all that kind of stuff. You can't have the health of the country come back if you keep feeding into this stuff on Facebook and posting things that that perpetuate the problem. You guys got to get out there. I know you guys know this. Uh, you know, many of you guys are doing this, but it helps to be reminded. It helps to remind myself, right? You know, we're all in the same boat. So it's important that you get out there and you give people not what they want, but you give them what they need. And what they need is peace, joy, and love. Those are the things that they need to help them feel fulfilled. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's a prisoner in, 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 in prison. I don't care if it's the biggest asshole on the street. Uh, those people will benefit greatly and will change their lives in uh, monumental ways if you can instill peace, love, and joy. And you don't instill those things by seeking revenge. You don't do that, and that's what Hollywood is missing. And I've worked on many, many of these films, hundreds of movies I have worked on, where the single number one key in that movie is revenge, where somebody did something bad and, and we gotta seek revenge and get them back. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's the way the business and the way uh, people's mindsets are. I think there's a spider that just crawled on me somewhere. <laughs> I get a little worried about that. Okay. Um, so what people don't know uh, and under understanding the law of attraction is that whatever you put in, whatever you think forward and push out in your vibrational sack, um, you, 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 it attaches to like-minded thoughts and it brings back those conditions to which you emanate. It's very important to understand this and to get this and to practice this. I can say this and you guys can intellectually understand it. It's not hard to understand. It is hard to do. It is hard to implement. So we want to make sure that, that we're diligent about that and that we're always giving what we want to come back to us. So if you give revenge, you seek anger, you seek rage, you're going to get those things coming back to you. Karma is going to slap you in the face, sometimes right on the ass. It stings, people. It stings. You don't want it, okay? So we got to work on that. So chain linking good thoughts throughout the day. Uh, you got into the negativity boat the same way. You just chain linked one bad thought after the next. One, some, one bad thought came in and you suddenly thought about something else and then your husband or wife came in and you got into an argument with them and then suddenly you ate a, you ate a burger and, and it had a cockroach on it, you know? And then, uh, you know, just one thing just kind of leads to the next. So we get out of that boat by chain linking uh, positive thoughts, positive words, and positive actions so that we can begin to get back on the train and we can vibrate higher. And we want to vibrate higher. Why? So that we attract the conditions that we want. We attract the money, the health, the joy, the relationships, uh, the good shit in life. You know, the, the good stuff, right? The good stuff. I want to attract nothing but good stuff, right? That's why when, you know, when we do Wheels and Waves in Malibu and some a-hole shows up, uh, you know, I have a choice. We can either kick them out or engage with them or we can just ignore them and make, make it a place that hopefully inspires them to raise up or inspires them to not come back, right? Because they're not, they're not in the same vibration that we are. Um, and, and, and ensuring uh, to be in that vibrational scale, uh, it helps to give. Uh, it helps to understand also that you can't reap the rewards of life if you don't give something to life. You can't reap the rewards monetarily if you're not giving something to the world. Uh, you're not going to get love from your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your kids unless you give love first. You have to understand that in order to attract what you want, you have to give that thing, right? It doesn't mean if you want to attract uh, $20,000, you got to give $20,000. You have to give a vibration into the world that is about belief and faith 
Uh, you can donate uh, 10 bucks to something. Uh, you can you can help out a friend. There's always something that you can do, but you have to be diligent about that. You have to be aware. You have to keep your mind in that level of awareness. You know, uh, people will do what they do. You can't change them, but you can. You do have a choice about how you are affected by them. But you got to step up. You got to step up, people. And I'm I'm going to challenge you this week to step up and to make sure that if someone comes at you and gives you a hard time for one reason or another, or you don't get the 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 food that you ordered. You know, that didn't come right, you know, instead of being getting angry, instead of getting pissy about it, instead of getting moody about it, make sure that you you take care of yourself, that you eat, you think properly, watch some videos, talk to positive people, hang out with the people. You know, they say in AA, uh, in NA and all these other things, stop hanging out with those people, those people that are that are giving you the excuse that it's okay to behave this way. It's not. It's not. They are on their journey. You have to be on your journey. Good morning, Ronnie Dieters. Welcome. Uh, Elizabeth Armas, thank you for joining us on today's Art Talk. Uh, very happy that you guys are here. Actually, I'm very grateful that you guys are here, that you're willing to come in and to engage in something that's positive uh, in the beginning of the week and that we get a chance to to discuss some of these tools and tips and tricks here on Art Talk that, um, uh, that will make, that will guaranteed will make your life better for this week or for today. Right? We don't have to take on the whole kit and caboodle. As Martin Luther King said, you don't have to climb the whole staircase. Let's just go up one one step today, shall we? One step, one step. I, I just want to feel freaking awesome today. If two steps happen to happen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go up two steps. I'm going to go. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there right now. I'm not, I'm not going crazy. Not going to go crazy. I might go crazy. I might go a little bit crazy. I might go for three steps, but I'm not going to talk about that. But as long as we're going in the right direction, people... Um, but don't be affected by the, the naysayers. Be affected by the people that, that criticize you, the people that, that suggest that what you're doing is wrong, the people that, that uh, uh, try to tear down your faith, and even the subtle ones. Oh, I'm not sure you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure, you know. Yeah, you're good, but, you know, are you that good? Well, yes, I am. Yes, I am. You just keep thinking this the right way. Stay away from that element. It will suck you back in. That's right. It will suck you back in. True, but Dennis, but I want you to think about it from this standpoint. You suck yourself back in. Whoa. It's all about you, Dennis. It's all about us individually. We don't get sucked back in. We suck ourselves back in. I know that's a weird metaphor. And it's kind of a strange visual, you know. But uh, the point is, it all starts with us. Don't allow it. Don't allow yourself to drop down your vibration to the level of those that are struggling to bring themselves up. They're trying. You got to understand that. They're trying to bring themselves up. And they're attempting all these things. They're not watching our talk. If they were watching our talk, they would know what to do too. That's why we want to get more viewers. So we can help. We can help people. Uh, ha create some awareness so that they can do this. This is why we ask you guys to share the video. You know, we're not making money off of our talk. You know, the, the point is for you guys to be able to learn this stuff and have a better life. This is something we have to do. This is something that I'm trying to get you guys to do. Go create your own art talk. Go go tell your friends. You know, you don't have to say, hey, I heard Fireball say this. Say, this is what I'm saying. You guys need to, to do this. You guys, if you guys will do what I'm doing, this is you saying it to them, then then you guys will, will work towards a better life. And you work towards a better life by one step at a time. And today's a step. Today's a step. Okay? Uh, get busy succeeding. Get busy succeeding. Don't give your attention. Don't engage with the doctor nose of the world, with the, the cockapoopoo heads. That's a technical term. Kathy came up with that one. I think it came from our granddaughter, Abigail. Speaking of our granddaughter, she's on today's vlog, episode 985. Uh, hung out with her. We're hanging out with her every single week. Why not put her on the vlog? She likes it. She's having a good time. Bring peace, joy, and love. That's your job today. And that's what I got for you on our talk. Boom! I wish I had an explosion sound effect, but that's all I could come up with. There's not really anything in here that, that can create that. Yep. Yeah. Nothing at all. Uh, all right. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, uh, today's our talk, we, we do this once a week, uh, 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time from Malibu, California. It's raining here. Uh, if it's not raining, then we're out and about hiking and do all kinds of fun stuff. 
Sure, there's all kinds of negative negativity going on in the world. And as soon as the virus is over, there still will be negativity in the world. So what? So what? It doesn't have to affect you. That's a choice. Okay? Zoe Scott, thanks for watching. And uh, Dennis Burnham, uh, all you guys, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, get out there, make a difference today in your life and make a difference in others by making sure that you have good thoughts and those good thoughts will lead to good results. I promise. All right, have a spectacular time. Check out today's vlog. We'll see you guys soon.